20 minutes to the hour of 7 o'clock. Welcome back, Trinidad and Tobago. And, of course, we're speaking about the new term starting, and it's not just for, let's say, regular school. We have AFTT, and you'll understand why I said AFTT in a few moments. This morning, we have with us the director of AFTT, Sarah Garcia, along with Whitney Punch George, president. And after this conversation, more than likely, Kimberly's going to have some company for those French classes. Ladies, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Bonjour, bonjour. Ça va? Bonjour. <laughs> Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Si, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Everything in my mind is like Spanish, Spanish. Anyway, ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you Thank so you. much Thank for being you. with us. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure. Now, I know that AFTT has been <laughs> here for a while. Yes. Can you just share with us how long you've been here and what exactly is the main objective of the organization? Sure. Well, the Alliance began, opened its, opened its doors on Pembroke Street 71 years ago, January mm. this year. And we actually got our own home now, not far here, right down the street, mm -hmm. um, on Alcazar Street, number 17. That's been our home for the past 20, 20 years. Yeah. And it's ours now. <laughs> um, so we've been here promoting French culture, teaching the French language, bringing as much of France to Trinidad as possible. Yeah. And how has it been accepted so far? Well, Alliance has a, its ups and downs, mm -hmm. um, but we've been holding on tight thanks to the board and uh, our committed teams of uh, teachers and coordinators. So we have some uh, very faithful students who've mm -hmm. been there from very beginner and are now quite advanced, and as well as members who are supporting Alliance. Um, plus years, we survived years. COVID, wow. yeah. yes. So we are very, very uh, proud of it. And yes, we come to promote because we are resuming our term on the 19th so and this is so exciting to hear because you have a brand new school team starting and from what I understand it's not just classes it's not just your basic language classes you have so much more to offer so yes. what exactly can students look forward to so we have our students so we have children from age 7 up um, so those from seven, they, we kind of do a kids club to introduce them to the language, get them familiar with it. We even have something called the Petit Ecole, which is actually French school for mm -hmm. persons who want to go back to France, etc. after a while. That's on Saturdays. We then have secondary school, which is aligned with the secondary school syllabus, and we have adult classes. So in addition to just having French classes, we also have Creole classes. So right. that brings us to one of our main events happening, um, the month of Creole, which is October for us. and. As you would know, a lot of French is ingrained in our language. So things like Zavoka and all these things that comes from the French language, right? Things that we say in terms of Benny, all of these things are French words, Baja, and all of these things come from, are rooted in the French language and our history with French. So it's important for us to acknowledge that and take, look, observe these Creole classes. Yeah. So this is interesting. So <laughs> Creole month, of course, if I'm not mistaken, it started in St. Lucia, is that correct? Um, St. Lucia began it initially. Yes. yes. Began it initially. Okay, so we celebrate it here now as well. Mm -hmm. So how long would you say it would take somebody to pick up Creole? Well, we offer um, <coughs> three levels of classes for, uh, our, we call it Patois classes Patois. at the Alliance. Mm -hmm. uh, our teacher is the famous uh, <laughs> Namdi Hodge. We are very happy to have him on our team. and. Um, we offer the level one that lasts for, I would say, three months, and then you can progress into level two for two and a half months, and we are very pleased that now we can offer level three. And technically, when you leave that level three group, mm -hmm. you can go up Paramin and have a full conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Go to Paramin, go to St. Lucia. I know in yeah, St. Lucia they yes. speak Patois, definitely. Now, one key thing about education, of course, is not just language, but culture. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we had a short chat off air before we began about the fact that you also do exchange programs. Yes. But before we get to the exchange programs, let's talk about how you are able to incorporate culture into your education at AFTT. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that we pride ourselves on is um, in class, we don't just teach the language. Mm -hmm. We kind of put it in our context, frame it in our context, um, how you would actually use it in in, a, in in the situation. And we also have conversation classes separate from the actual, you know, pedagogy classes where you're learning mm -hmm. grammar and all of that, where if it is that you just want to be able to speak or if it is that you want to reignite that French in you. 
So the, those are more context-based. So you don't get, okay, this is a passage, and that's a little different. Sarah will be better able <laughs> to explain. Yes, yeah, so we uh, combine uh, culture and language. Okay. But we, as you said, we also offer programs and, um, and uh, um, opportunities to go in France or in Martinique and Guadeloupe. So we facilitate students who now finish CAPE uh, to apply to French universities. So French universities are, um, are a good opportunity it. because the fees are as, I think, 173 euros. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely yeah. affordable and the quality of education is quite good. The only requirement is that you speak French. French right. So to, uh, to validate that level, we offer exams called DELF. So we right. start at a beginner, but to enter university, you need a DELF B2. It's not too much of a challenge because at CAPE level French, it's already a level B2. So you just need to master the format of the exam and we offer classes to train you for the exam. Okay. Um, we also offer the assistantship program so that this is for students who are already in, uh, in universities. So if you are in UE and you have a little background of French and you wish to experience teaching English as a foreign language in France or in mm -hmm. Martinique and Guadeloupe, you can come to us and we will guide you uh, for the following year. This is fantastic to hear about. So beneficial. I love the fact that you mentioned with the university education. 173 euros. So just a point to note wow. there, um, which I always tell my students because I'm a teacher as well yeah. at um, Holy Faith Convent in Cuba. So one of the points that's really important is that you don't have to go to France to study French. Right. I've had friends who've gone there to study fashion. I've had friends who've gone there to study law. And the thing is, this is just a stepping stone for you to do whatever it is that you really want to do, but you have French as a background. And the thing is, in this global world that we're living mm -hmm. in now, the borders are breaking down physically, right? right? So the thing is, having a language is so important. I have a friend who was hired mainly because he speaks Spanish and he was able to be an accountant for um, Bermudas. And he he had an edge over everybody else because now he has to travel on their behalf right because of where we are located and mm -hmm. do you know how much percentage of the caribbean speaks french yes we often lot, hear yeah. that oh i choose spanish over french mm -hmm. but you don't have to choose no you we can don't. do both ah okay you can well, broaden your opportunities <laughs> i agree with you 100 yes. percent. you don't you can do both and it's mm -hmm. so important now there's so much to take away from this because many times when you hear about AFTT, you automatically think of classes. Yeah. But realizing the opportunities that you offer means that we definitely need to continue to have the conversation Oof. and there needs to be more awareness. Yeah. Now, I know also you have um, World French Teachers Day coming up as yes. well. Yes. What so will you be doing to observe that? So for uh, until December, we have a heavy agenda culturally. So as you said, October will be focused on Patois mm -hmm. and November we're focusing on French teachers, international, international teachers Day. So this year the, the theme is Professeur de Français, Créateur d'Avenir, <laughs> meaning uh, Designer of, of the, the Future. future. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, the program has not been finalized yet. Okay. Uh, the day will be on the 24th of November, but we are looking to organize something face to face because we now had it for two years online, online. due to COVID. Mm -hmm. So we are looking forward to welcome back all the French teachers on that day. And um, we will be putting in place a lot of workshops and activities to to facilitate discussion and also equip them with maybe new tools for the, for the future. There is so much going on, but I just want to go back, of course, to the main point, talking about education. You said mm -hmm. the new school term starts on the 19th of September. Yes. Now, this is for children and adults, correct? Yes. yes. Oh, um, well, we've been doing some little test the classes to, for people to try out. Uh, so we've, we've been having... Yeah. So we have plenty of persons telling us they're yeah. not too sure if they want to learn, learn French, French, so we offer those... Uh, sample classes okay. with crash course we unfortunately have to say that it's now complete because we have 85 person yes. registered for next week yeah. right so um this is the last round and mm -hmm. we will offer new round in january so if yeah, people wish to test french and mm -hmm. they're not too sure before they pay uh, they commit to a full term they can register to those free uh, crash course so we have them for the children and we have them for the adults Okay, wonderful. Sarah and Whitney, we are out of time, but before we end our conversation, can we have some more information? I'm seeing the information is yes. on your screen there, viewers. So um, QR code, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, telephone number and address. So there is no excuse. Sarah, <laughs> Whitney, 
Thank you so much for taking time out of your morning to be with us and thank you for sharing these opportunities. One of the things that really has blown a lot of us away this morning is the access to education, mm -hmm. op educational opportunities and the mentioning also, you know, it's not just about friends. It's a nice option to the U.S., you know, because you don't end up in debt. Mm. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago. Facts are facts. This is in our morning show. Sarah Garcia, Director, Whitney Punch, George, President of AFTT, but don't worry. I won't be seeing AFTT after I'm finished classes. <laughs> Stay tuned. This is the Now Morning Show. There's a lot more coming up. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming.